It's the beginning of September, still over 30 degrees today with the humidity, but we got gusts of wind going up over 60, so I couldn't bring the drone out with me. But on the bright side, that'll keep us nice and cool this evening. There's a bit of rain in the forecast overnight and tomorrow morning, so I've got the tent set up with the fly on it. What do you see, Skiff? Other people use this area too. Often if they're on the other side of the pond you can hear them talking or having fun. That tends to get scout riled up. Let me show you some of the cool features about this tent. The doors open up almost all the way around and you can just tuck them into the corner pockets here. There's one of those pockets on every corner of the tent. Along with these little gear loops up in the corners at top. But one of the things that makes this tent extra sturdy that I'm very happy for is on the rain fly, those cross poles that give you all the headroom. I don't know if you can see, but the fly actually attaches in all four of those corners along with the staking points down at the bottom. And if you tie it out to some extra pieces of wood or rocks or whatever, it makes for a very, very sturdy setup. You can see how I've got the fly rolled up on this side with the sides out. One of the nice things about that is uh, they've got an extra set of loops here on the side of the fly so that you can also have it so that it unzips on the outer sides rather than the middle. Very versatile. There's a fallen tree that somebody chopped and left here on the site, so I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. There's actually a fair bit of debris around, so it should look a lot better when I'm done. Alright, Scout, let's go get some water for the evening. There's a little trail here by the campsite that just goes right down to the pond. There's some huge boulders here too. Really huge. And here we are.
Welcome sweet home. We got some clouds moving in pretty quick, so I'm probably going to get a fire started now. It's 6.30 in the evening. Scout's already eaten, but it's about time I get some supper on the go. Before leaving the house, I checked the forecast, and it said we were probably going to get some rain starting around 8.30 p.m., so that's actually around the time it starts getting dark now. We'll see how it turns out. We don't have a ton of wood here, but it'll be enough to boil up that water and fry up some rice. Tonight, we've got some leftover fried rice that I made at home. Not dehydrated this time. I'm just realizing that I never brought any oil to fry this in, so this may be a sticky mess. Ooh, smoke! So much smoke! veggie fried rice this time. Primary ingredients are bell peppers and mushrooms. Got some turmeric and basil in there too. Oh, it stuck a bit, but not too bad. Bon appetit. Oh wow, it's even better left over and then cooked on the fire. Yes, Scouty, you can have some too, when I'm done. Time for bed, is it? Time for bed, is it? Okay, okay. Let's go to bed. Time for us to hit the hay. Good night. Good morning. We've had some on and off showers sprinkling this morning, but it's not too cold, thankfully. Tent stayed dry overnight. It's dry here under the tarp, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit of coffee this morning before we pack things up. I've got this new ultralight clip-on coffee filter that I'm going to give a shot today. I get tired of having instant espresso every time, 
So today I brought some ground up real coffee. It's a, a medium roast called East Coast Roast made by Jumping Bean here in Newfoundland. It's one of my favorites. I just threw the grinds straight into the pot and now pour that on into the cup and this should filter out any of the grinds. Beauty. Check it out. Poured right through. No grinds in my cup. Cheers. Oh man. Oh man, that's so much better than instant espresso. Oh, totally worth it. Rain started coming down pretty hard. Holy cow! Nothing getting in. Perfect. I'm going to ride out the worst of this and then start packing up. I've got to run over to the tent and bring out my top quilt. That's the last thing in there. Thanks for coming with us. See you on the next one.